account is the key to participating in the Sora network. There is no limit to how many Sora accounts you can have, and Sora accounts are free to create. There is also no KYC or minimum balance requirements. This video will show you how to create a Sora account. It will outline the steps required to get started, from creating an account on the Polkadot.js interface, to exporting it to the Polkadot.js browser plugin for instant access when signing transactions. There will be some examples using a Sora account on the Pokeswap testnet to practice transferring Zor tokens between accounts. And finally, some examples calculating and paying Zor transfer fees and verifying transactions on the Sora Scan Block Explorer. Let's begin by opening polkadot.js.org backslash apps. Then select Test Networks. Click on the Sora staging. Click on the switch button. Wait for the loading and click on the accounts. Click on Add Account. The mnemonic for the new account will be shown. Copy it and save in a secret place. Never share it. You'll need this mnemonic phrase later. Confirm that you saved the mnemonic and proceed. Enter the account name, password, and confirm the password. Then click Next. Click Save. Save the JSON file. It might be used in order to restore the account. Open the Polkadot.js apps plugin and click Import Account from pre-existing seed. Paste the mnemonic phrase and proceed. Enter the account name, password, and confirm the password. Then click Next. Now you will create the account in Polkadot.js apps and import it using the mnemonic phrase into the Polkadot apps plugin. Open the test.pokeswap.io and open the account tab. Then select the created account. Copy the account address by clicking on it. Next, you need to get test tokens. Open the faucet. Paste the address, enter the amount of Zor tokens, and click Send Testnet Zor. Wait some time while the transaction is being processed. The Zor will be sent to the specified address. There is no fee. Tokens are test tokens and have no real value. Repeat the same for VAL tokens. Wait some time while the transaction is being processed. Open test.pokeswap.io and check the balance of the account. Three Val and three Zor should be displayed. Check the Polkadot.js apps. The Zor balance should be updated too. Open the Polkadot apps plugin and click Create New Account. Save the mnemonic and confirm that you saved it, then proceed. Enter the account name, password, and confirm password. New account should be automatically added. Copy the newly created account address. Click the Send button. Paste the address and enter the amount of tokens that should be sent. Click Send, Confirm, and Sign the Transaction. Check the balance on the Account tab and in Polkadot.js apps. Go back and click to switch the account. Select the second account. Select the Swap button. Select Destination Token. Select the amount of Zor to be swapped. You can check the parameters using the tooltips. Click 
Click Swap, Confirm, and Sign the Transaction. Open the account and check Zor and Val Balance. Open the Activity tab. Open your transaction. Click to open the transaction in Sora Scan. Go back and open the account tab. Copy the first account address. Click Transfer on Val Token. Paste the address and enter the amount of Val Tokens to be sent. Check the network fee. It's always in Zor even if you send Val Tokens. Confirm and sign the transaction. Open the Activity tab. Open the Transfer Details. Copy the transaction ID. Open the source scan and paste the transaction address in the search box and press enter. You can check transfer parameters here. Click on chain to transactions. You can find your transaction there. Click on the block ID. You'll see the block details page. There should be the list of transactions in this block. Copy the block number and open it in Polkadot.js apps. Open the Explorer. Paste the block number and click Search. You can find the same block details there. Thank you.